community, uh, not only to the people who are uh, on the front line directly affected uh, in the Ukraine from the problems that are the, the issues that are well, the attacks that are happening there at the moment, but also the members of our community here um, who uh, have family members there and, and friends, um, and we feel it's really important to show that we're thinking of them and that um, they're in our hearts and we that this is a nice way to show that support um, tonight. I have been um, a part of, of this amazing community for the past 15, almost 16 years and uh, uh, over the last few years I've been doing these sessions in all levels of education on understanding migration and uh, um, asylum seeking process and refugee status and I would always start the session with this activity where I would ask people uh, to take a five minutes uh, imagine that the war breaks out in their country and that they have five minutes to pack their bag and leave forever. And this is what happened to my sister, to my cousin, and to so, so many countrymen from Ukraine. And it is happening right now. And I will never look at this exercise the same way. And I don't know if I ever will be able to use it. What is happening in Ukraine is crimes against human, humanity and genocide because their innocent people are dying every day. Children in hospitals, in schools are being bombed. I'm talking to my mom on the phone and all I can hear is a siren going on. So today if I can ask you just please take any action you can to, you can to stop this. Park New Bridge on the 4th of March 2022 unanimously supports the people of Ukraine and all impacted by this terrible war. That the candlelight vigil unanimously calls on Russia to immediately cease its attacks on Ukraine and its people. And that this decision of the vigil be conveyed to the Russian and Ukraine embassies in Dublin as soon as possible. 